Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of I spent all my money on Switch. So now I don't have any money, but now I have Switch. The show could work a lot better if my girlfriend wasn't playing it. I could hold it. I'm your host, is Animal Crossing Game. I don't know, I don't fight stuff, so I don't feel like game to me. Today I'll be showing you how to get the most perfect sidechain compression in your DAW. And our DAW of choice today will be, spin the wheel please. Ableton, unless you guys think we should work on another DAW. Before getting into the video, I wanna let you guys know, merch drop, we have sexy new shirt. It's the exhibit A through Z. Link in the description. All right, so I'm gonna set up the perfect side chain timing from the kick to the sample. I'm gonna start with that for now. So to start off, I'm gonna mute the bass. I'm just gonna have the sample and the drums playing. All right, so you guys may be wondering, what is this perfect side chain trick that I'm, I'm going on about in the title? Well, it's, it's pretty simple. It's one word actually, it's the metronome. All right, so we're gonna put on the metronome and we're gonna, we, you may wanna move up your time signature. So mine's a 4-4 four, four currently, but I'm gonna move it up to either 4-8 or 4-16. And hopefully your beat is on beat, otherwise this trick will not work as well. So I'm gonna try 4-8 for now. And I'm gonna turn on the metronome. Remember, you can change the metronome volume by switching the tab here and moving it down a little bit. And now we're gonna put a compressor on the sample. Turn on the side chain, bring it in from the kick. We're gonna put it on RMS. We're gonna turn up the ratio a bit. Then we're gonna bring down the attack and the release. Then we're gonna turn on the look ahead to one. And then we're gonna try to set the timing now. Now, there's not really a set way how to do this. You just gotta listen. Okay, now we can try to put it on 16ths up here. All right, just like that, it was that easy. I mean, hopefully I explained to you well enough how to do it. You have to use your sense of timing to figure out if you got the timing right. Let's listen to it now. I can't argue with that timing. If anything, I might just want to bring down the ratio a bit. Now remember, don't touch the threshold once you have the timing set, because if you move the threshold, that's gonna mess with the timing a little bit because that changes uh, when the attack and release will take effect. You can still do this technique even if your song has a bit of groove, as long as it's not too wonky. The wonkier it gets, the harder it'll be to do this technique. This is one reason I like to apply groove to my songs afterwards, because there's a lot of cool techniques you can use with quantization. It just depends on the beat though, you know? Some beats are more quantized and groove later, and some of them are more of groove on the moment. All right, I think that's it. We figured out how to set up the perfect side chain. Have you guys heard of Discord? It's a great place where we have lots of conversations, especially in mine. You should check it out, link in the description. What's that? There's also a beat cipher? Oh yeah, I forgot about it. Description. Have you guys heard of Bloom Audio? They're a great mixing and mastering service. I know this because I am them. Get 20% off with the code down in the description. Tune in next time when I sit down and have a conversation with myself. Hey, are you done filming yet? Shout out to my patrons, you guys are awesome. You're now listening to The Third Child. A link to check out his music is down in the description.